we're, re we're very ready. You know, we'll go out there and we'll get them. What sort of state are the chimps in that you came across in Turkey? I, you know, we've, I've been doing this for 11 years with Alice, and we've gone to Spain everywhere rescuing chimps. And this is the first time it really broke my heart. You know, you rescue 45 chimps, you think maybe you get used to this kind of thing. You don't. You know, I'm looking at babies uh, whose heads were burnt. I'm looking at uh, a little chimp that's in a pet shop who's being virtually starved. And this lady's offering him for $10,000. She thinks she's going to make a bundle. Mm. Uh, other chimps where when they misbehave, there's a Korean lady trying to burn his head with cigarettes. His toe is falling off. He's missing a toe. It's been caught in a snare. They're dying out there. Are we going to make it back in time to rescue the babies? I don't know. That's up to the Turkish government because we said we'll take them all. And how can we help? Well, we've, we've given a helpline here to GMTV how people can help. They can call the helpline and see how we can do. We've taken on an enormous undertaking. We said we found five in one day with the help of, of our Turkish friends. And we're saying maybe there's 20. And we're saying to the Turkish government, we'll take them all. And we know the British people will be there with us. They always have. And that helpline? It's 0500-777-771. And it's on the screen now, Monkey World. Thank you very much for coming in, uh, Jim. Also say thank you very much to uh, Alison and Lucy. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, and we'll be repeating that number just in case uh, you haven't got a pen to take a little bit, a little bit later in the programme. That's uh, all about uh, all we have time for on the news hour for this morning. Andrea will be here with the weather right after the break. So will we.